What's going on everybody? Starting the video off with a fry update and they I'm feeding them right now. Um and they're kinda just swimming around picking off food. That guy in the back in there is pretty big, I just noticed. Let's see if he comes out. You can see his nose. There you go, you kinda got a shot of him right there. Um pretty large compared to the others, but the others are all doing well. Still not as large as that guy, but yeah, they're all like there's there's a big one right there. You can kind of see. I don't know if the dorsal fin is showing up, but it has a little bit of a dorsal fin on them. And yeah, there you go. You can kind of see a good little outline of them right there. So, uh, definitely growing and uh, good progress so far. And there's that guy in the back. You can probably tell from last video that they're way uh, less shy. That guy is one of the larger ones. And the female goes and chases him off. But, uh, yeah, swimming around a lot. Not as shy. Just real cool to watch, like I said last time. But uh, still got a good amount in here. And, yeah, good progress so far. That back guy, darn it! Whenever I get, whenever he comes out and I try and fill him, he darts back. Here he comes. So yeah, you can see he's got some of the the bottom fins. I forgot what they're called too, but yeah. So yeah, way less shy. And they're just kind of chilling. Females right there. Males over here in his pad. Just hanging out. I accidentally sucked up this shell right here in a water change because there's um some debris which is still left back there. But uh, the siphon will just pick them up, and I thought the male was in that shell, and I was happy to see that he was in that back one right there because I thought I sucked him up. Like it just it doesn't like I didn't suck. It, I don't know. It's just hard to explain. But it just picks the shell up like a magnet. So. Got a little scared there, but uh, yeah, I just did a water change on this tank today, and I'll show you the five gallon. Got some March Madness on. Hopefully, some of you guys are watching that crazy up to upsets and stuff. Missouri, Duke, especially Duke. Um, but yeah, Beta is where is he up there? Come on, he's over there. I don't know. There's the Beta. Chilling, but I just did a top off on this tank like five minutes ago. Um, so there's still some bubbles on the glass and stuff. But um, as you can probably tell, I'm just letting it grow out. I've got some Naha grass all up on the. Oh, this is probably a better angle. You can see it's all up on the glass. The sag valve, whatever you want to call it, is getting real big. This Naha grass is up. All the way to the top, um, I can pick it up and it comes like pretty far out of the water from all the way down there, all the way up to there. So, some good size on that piece. And I don't know, I might trim it or I might not. I kind of just like the way it's just handling itself. Um, I tested the nitrate again, and I don't know if this will show up, but. It's a little more orange than on the real life, but uh, you can see it's pretty yellow, and uh, zero is yellow, so I don't know how well that's showing up. I'm trying to get it, but whatever. Um, under five still, and it's been like four to five weeks or so, so uh, pretty stable, and I probably won't be doing water changes until it gets higher than 10 which I don't know if that's ever gonna happen but this Naha grass just like it sends roots like hold on let me see a root starts there shoots all the way down and then like that white thing is a root and there's tons of them back there I mean it's just a huge cluster of them and if you look from the top which is actually pretty cool because the water is so clear in here that you can see all the way down 
there's a ton of rotala, but it's all low growing because it seems to just root onto the ground and stay there and grow in runners. Like back here, you can see just lots of rotala, and then the lights in the way, but a ton of naha grass and then the sag stuff covering some ground in the front, and you have this open spot. <laughs> Which hopefully, if one of these produce some runners, I'll stick one of them there. But I do kind of like how it's uh, a little more grown in on the left side and then a little barren. Uh, might add a crypt in, maybe back there. Eventually, we'll see. But um, yeah, where's the beta? Kind of shy after a water change, but uh, yeah. There he is. There you go. Showing some color. Still like this fish. Um, at first, I thought it would get boring, but after all this time, I still think it's one—it's one of my more favorite fish. Probably second behind the multis, just because I don't know the 36 gallon. There's more fish, so it's like they don't show as much personality. The angel's cool too, but I like the bait a lot. So yeah, um, trying to keep you guys updated. Been really busy with baseball. And um, I'll try and get another video out this weekend, but next week is going to be swamped because I have games. I think I have three next week, so yeah, I'll, I'll do my best to keep you guys updated. But for now, hopefully this suffices, and uh, I'll see you guys later.